myself last time. You did it? No. Mommy think you did. Okay, all right, cool. So we're gonna start, a, we're gonna like do, like I'll start the intro and then we'll add you on. That way it won't even, won't even pretend like this it never happened. Karma. Hold on, is this? <laughs> no. Oh, it is Karma, but it's Britt Smith. It's not. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, fuck. Uh... Jojo. All right. So welcome on in, you guys. Well, Those of you that version. are coming in, you know, through the live stream. And if you're watching this, you know, later on on YouTube, welcome on in. This is episode eight. This is our live Paladins bug cast. We are just doing the meeting. The actual episode that goes down is on Saturdays at noon. But we always have our meetings around seven. It took us a while to get started because we were kind of like, you know, vibing on in. Um, taking a break from rescheduling from last week. This time we did a community poll live and it was very spicy as you can see in the bottom right you're probably wondering what the hell does that mean? Elk used throw hands on bandit as you're gonna learn here. <laughs> we, we've got our dear bandit here if you want to introduce yourself. Oh um hello <laughs> my name is um yeah I'm Eden. Anyways um my name is bandit um I'm a noob and uh paddling so anybody that watches the little podcast they're new they don't know they know they don't know what we're talking about don't worry i feel the same way um my wife is avora she's the best <laughs> best character in the game no one could beat her um yeah that's basically all i have to say so oh, I started, wait i, I have one when question playing, real quick um, yeah, so. go on bandit what role is Vora? <laughs> <Blink. Hey. laughs> she is not a flame. She's a fucking She's a tank. She's a tank. Oh, oh she is not a tank. Bora, She's Bora, a tank. Bora, the explorer. <laughs> Bora, the tank. Sorry, I got you. Okay, okay. She's a tank. She's a tank. Healthy vibes in chat says Bora, best waifu. Yes. <laughs> uh uh. Thank you. Thank you. No, the door. That one under boob skin is very mommy. Oof. You're right. Okay, you guys, we're getting off topic here. Anyways, <laughs> let's explain the timestamp to those that are probably going to question this later on on YouTube and on the VOD. The VOD. So, uh, we did a community poll live in chat, and we asked everyone, who should we put in the champion hot seat? So, we had a couple different options, you know? We had we had Ying, we had Vora, we had Makoa, we had Dredge and Shaolin. Well, let's just say it was a 1v1 up until a certain point uh, between Elk and uh, <laughs> Bandit, who used their channel broke. points, and she used a ton of channel points, and then my boyfriend also contributed, so Dredge won, as you can see, we're going to be talking about Dredge tonight. He is in our champion hot seat this week, so we're going to talk about his pros and cons. Feel free to uh, put in the chat. Or if you're listening in the live audience and have your opinions, which guys, I can't all tap because I'm recording this. So if those of you that are in the Discord currently, if you can see the chat, if Cody and says something and I miss it, please let me know so I can include it in here as well. But you guys, if you have anything in chat that we're talking and we're vibing and you want to, you know, you want that included, please let me know and I'll include that. So I think we should start off with that and then we're going to get into what you guys' thoughts are with the upcoming PvE, uh, PvE mode. Now, there is an ad break in progress right now. It's a minute and a half, so I won't get really into everything. But before we get deep into this week's episode, how is everyone on the panel today? How are you guys? Nobody talked. That was insane. That um, was insane. We're good. No, we're good. Uh, I slept all day. Waited for my girl to text me. She never does. She's probably asleep. So I guess I'm having a good day. That's good. You sound happy. That's good. I'm eating. That's why. Uh uh. I'm done with you. Not that romantic ass shit. And then he's like, Nah, I'm eating. <laughs> nah. Food. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what about you, Oki? What did you say? You said big. <laughs> I'm a I'm big backwards. Uh, backwards. I just work all day. Yeah. yeah nothing, nothing. I, I made a bucket hat for the cats and a penis holder. Yay. <laughs> I like how you hesitated to say that. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Justin? I can't wait to hear that be beeped. It's Holder. going good. Holder. Can't complain today. Right. It's a little nauseous earlier, but I'm doing good now. Well, that's Probably because I didn't eat anything this morning. <laughs> Look at you. Bow bow. Raze, I heard you. You're in here too. Yeah. Let's go. How are you? I'm good. It's hot. I had fun yesterday. Me and Justin got to play the first Descendant together. It was, it was yeah. Oh. Raze carried me. Oh. I did not carry you, my friend carried all of us. Oh. <laughs> I brought the carry. 
Well, I'm glad you guys had fun. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really, yeah, I'm enjoying the game a lot. But other than that, but today, yeah, aside from today, it's fucking hot. It is so hot. You are not I'm wrong, miserable. sis. It is so I'm fucking miserable hot. right now. Yeah, it's I even true. have my AC on high, girl. It's on girl, high. Girl, I know my mama tried to tell me not to. I'm like, girl, if I'm paying my bill, that shit. Listen, it's on. At this point, at this point, I don't even give a fuck about my my electric bill. <laughs> uh uh. True, true. So as we said before, yep, episode eight, we're getting into Dredge as our champion in the hot seat this week, and then we're gonna be discussing the upcoming PVE mode that we saw a little clip of. If you guys are following uh paladin's game on any socials they've been posting it as well as the like if you follow anyone's discord in their paladins like if they follow the bot they posted it i saw it it looked interesting a lot of people have been giving a lot of critique because that was a thing in the past now personally i didn't play during that time so i can't really speak on that whether it was good or not whether it was fun or not i think it's interesting but before we get into that because we will talk about that i am so kind of like eager to see what everyone has to say about dread so let's kick it off because elk is the one who wanted to talk about it so bad i'm gonna pass the mic to you we want to start off with some of his one pro and one con and then we'll kind of like go around uh for cons it'd probably be his movement because if you don't place those fucking portals correct yeah. Fuck yourself. Me. And I never place him correctly. No, even though Me I'm too. a like main dread player. Yeah. Same. Um, and his pros would probably be how you can lob his projectiles because if you do it right, you don't even need to be around cover. Right. Like you can be behind it's it true. and hiding and still be able to hit targets, even if they're like across the map. Like yeah. if you aim up high enough, you can lob them all the way over. Jump lob. True. Jump he doesn't jump have any. Yeah, fall off, jump off damage, so it's full damage no matter how far away they are. Would that yeah. be a pro then? On that? Yeah, that's my pro. No uh, fall mm -hmm. off on. Are you talking about. Hold on. No. Oh, I don't want to capitalize. First project on. for his uh, left and right click. There you go. Same thing. Basically, one just shoots three. Actually, I don't think any of Dredge's. I was going to say because, yeah, with the harpoon. No, he doesn't. I don't think he has any. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like I don't play, I don't really play dredge, but I know for a fact Same that he does not have any fault. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is nice. Would you that say really like helps him as like a damage character? You really are able to put up the damage because Would of that. Would you say he's low skill? <laughs> no, because if you can't lob your shots correctly, you're gonna struggle with But him. I guess it depends on the pal uh, the talent, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, now I use the one where it makes the harpoon explode. Abyss. Yeah, I, I like that. Low skill. <laughs> for... like set up I'm not a. I can't stand hurl dredges because they're not using like most of their mm. kit. They're not yeah, using like it. They the literally just call it hurl. Is that it doesn't add cauterize either. If you're using right -click hurl for your damage, me. there's no cauterize. Yeah. Yeah. It's just straight raw damage. My right damage. click heals me, so as long as I'm hitting mm. at least two of those, I'm staying healed up. Right. All right, so I put on here a pro is a low skill for Scuttle. Abyss Spike is a higher skill as a con. Because that's, like, it's not user-friendly. Yeah. Yeah, no, if you don't know, if you don't know what you're doing. Con, that's he yeah, needs me. deft hands. <laughs> oh, yes. oh my god, that's like, deft it first buys deft hands. He has one of the longest reloads. Yeah. Him and Betty. Him and Domba. And Betty, mm -hmm. yeah. And but, Betty, uh, Domba, like and I think, um... One at a time. What's her name? Vivian, so also, has also, pretty slow Vivian, also, for what, for Vivian also has a long, long yeah. fucking reload. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, characters who like fucking make you have to buy an item. Like, that's always right, like a if problem. you're not running unlimited ammo on mm. Vivian, you gotta get that <laughs> Right, it's required. Even if you Almost. do run it, it's still like a later buy you need to get. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Um, but basically, any damage you want to get deft hands. I think a, a pro for Dredge, he has some of the highest burst damage in the game. I put high like damage, so should I add damage. that like next to it, or <laughs> yeah, as a yeah? I put high sorry. damage, but like burst though specifically. No, you're good. I didn't see that. I need to full screen this so I can actually read. <laughs> I can make it bigger because it was like very um zoomed out as well. 
Um, all like right. Left hands, and then um, the one that makes you faster just by walking around. I can't remember. It's been so long since I played Power. Fucking nimble. nimble. No, I'm nimble. talking about the one that makes you walk faster. Yeah, nimble. Nimble. Yeah, there we go. Nimble and deft hands, because he's also he walks so goddamn slow. Yeah. It's because he's got all that fucking junk in the trunk, dude. Yes. Um. Whenever y'all are done with serious pros and cons, I have a funny pro. <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> Unless um Ray's or uh, Bandit he's wants the to ask. Santa. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> wait, that's a that's a pro. He got that daddy Santa skin. That daddy Santa skin. Zaddy, <laughs> Santa. Especially skin. when you do the dancey dance. Yeah, when he does. John the TJ. Dance, I honestly can't say anything what I about Ray because I don't really know much about him. I don't really play him. Tell me spelling John T wrong, honey. <laughs> little jangle jangle. I have a con for Dread. <gasps> Um, I have con. seen the flying, but um, that we're just we put it as a con. Like, well, I guess you make a point, but that's being specific as far as like builds, which we're not really. I guess we're that's a that's a technicality. No, because Catman has a point. Because I I know a lot of people that play like that as well, like the flying yeah, all over the map, actually, like with. I guess you could use it to get out too. Yeah. I forgot about that change. But, but, okay, like, like, we're talking, a lot of our stuff is kind of directed towards beginner to intermediate. So if you don't know that, like, if your build isn't built around that, you know what I mean? Like, you're not going to, a new person picking that up is not going to know that. That's my point. Yeah, I you're forgot all about that. But, you just need to learn how to lob this but, around. I will put that as I a, haven't played Dredge up forever. I'm going to put that <laughs> as a pro. It can, two things can be true I at once. Get, now that I... Damn, he really like put me on my fucking head right now like, with that because I didn't really consider that. Because I know you haven't played him in a long, long time. So. Yeah. He can use his little like where he throws three on the ground. Yeah. And he can literally launch Fling himself, himself across the map now. Yeah. He hits himself with those. Yeah. Uh, broadside. I've, done that. I've done that. I've done that. Like on uh, Ascension's yeah, you Peak, launch you can yourself like, like yeah. you're on bomb camp and shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny. Flying dredge. Being able to get that, fun. being able to get up into the air to lob shots though, oh my god, that's gonna make me so dangerous because that just pulls into my Betty play. Because I'm my Betty, if I'm in the air, I'm shooting down. Oh yeah, he got a buff also. The card that um, after he uses his teleporter, he has like the big jump. The the level one card of it, I think, is now a second and a half or two seconds or something like that. Oh, hell yeah. So you can actually use it as a filler card. <laughs> you can kind of run around for a second and then jump up. <laughs> So they have actually the increased his mobility up. quite a bit it's lately. Fucking putting himself into our back line, deleting me. I was screaming at my team to please look at the zombie pirate. He was flying. Catman, please. Oh. No, I know what you're talking about, too. Like, he's not even wrong. I because... need to play the new updated dredge. I'm telling you, like, that's... It, it, it's just the build. It says... <laughs> Bro, you know what would be even more amusing? Got my build. That flying Dutchman. Yeah. Oh, my that God. Yeah, no, that's what he's more. talking about. He's like, please, someone turn around and look yeah, at the, the zombie, zombie pirate. pirate. Like, it's so yeah. fucking funny. Um, It's not only fun. Oh, good for a hard it, uh, diving. Backline. He also got to build dredge up with the healing cards. Like, I heal off of my right click and my portal. And but is that a pro it. or a con? Y'all have to speak to me in pro and cons because I'm putting this in the list for I would say it's more of a pro because he has that availability. Okay. Yeah, he's got quite a bit of he healing cards. He has good self-sustain. So there you go. Has decent self-sustain. But it yeah. does kind of lock him into that area whenever he's standing next to his teleporter. It does. That's why it helps to have that Which honestly, if... right click. Where you mm -hmm. heal for like so mm -hmm. much for... That way you can be a little... Right. That way when you need to move, <clears throat> you can move. Exactly. Okay. Anything else we want to add? I have a con. Um, one of my a con? Cons that, <laughs> yeah. Um, Elk picked him as hot seat, so that's definitely a con. Uh uh, I'm I'm literally putting that on there just because you're you're petty. <laughs> oh, big. <laughs> I can't wait till war's big so I can just shit on her. 
<laughs> oh, see, but you can't. Nah, you can't dish it out and then not accept it. Two <laughs> way street, bud. Two way street. Don't worry, it's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Watch what's gonna happen though. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like trash. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So, what do we think about this PVE mode? I didn't play any of the PVE, uh, PVE modes that were around uh, back then. Like I've heard of them. Uh, I was. Those were during my downtime when I wasn't playing. So I did not play. Same. I never played yeah. PVE um, modes. Any of them. Yeah. I think they've only done like two or three. But yeah, I never played any of them. Honestly, I think it's I think it's good. Like, um, I like PVE boats, so I think it's good. Well, I'm like, we can run around and meme with each other in PVE. It, exactly. It's that it's less stressful than when you're in a you know PVE mode. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I was gonna say. Or, um, it could, could be. Could, like, could be. I don't know. Depending on how hard they make it or how boring they make it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you right. Um, has potential to be more stressful. Can run meme shit and not care as much. <laughs> um. I think that it brings something new to the game. It's not like a new limited time mode that's just slightly changed from another one. Like right. a PVE mode, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to run this one. But right. With it being PVE, there's could be something new, something fun. Right, potential and, you know, to bring new players. They need some new stuff right now. Oh, like, yes, they do. We are on a drought mm -hmm. for content right now. <clears throat> like the emoji change. That was the only thing we really got this year. Right, which was like the one big thing. As far thing. as like new shit. Yeah. That upset yeah. me. Emoji was like my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> it was like my go-to. Um, I was gonna say that it's definitely better for like newer, uh, not newer player, but uh, not as good players. You can probably test out your like little combos and stuff. So like I was talking about dredge, you can't, you can't like. Like y'all said, like the amnesia takes a have a long time to reload. Mm -hmm. So like newer players should probably get into that game mode and like test it out, see if they want to use this character, how to use use it against the bots. Then yeah, like, and that's if they let you pick it because they might just auto pick. I don't know. They use Tyra for that, so I don't know if that was just to show us or if that's just what it's gonna be. But if it's like you could yeah, pick whatever, you know, PVE would probably definitely be more, <laughs> um, more friendly. Mm -hmm. For sure. If you've ever played the bots in here. <laughs> no. <laughs> when I first they get stuck on walls like crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's something I'm kind of worried about with the PvE mode correct. is how well the bots are actually going to play their role. Yeah, because right? yeah, they don't really like, have to be tapping that well. Yeah, Yeah, because if you've ever played a bots match in Paladins before, like, you know... They're not they that smart. The wall, they get stuck in spawn. They, fucking... they will literally, they like, around. yeah, get stuck on a wall or something. And they'll stand at They're literally fucking... three minutes they'll just stand... going back and forth around they'll the pole. They'll stand, like, 20 feet outside of spawn and just stand there for some fucking reason. <laughs> yeah, it's because they get locked into, like, a little thing. <laughs> they'll try to run and they don't move anywhere. Or no, honestly, I feel like when they just stand still, I feel like they're buying items. They, like, moved out of spawn and then stood there and then, like, you know, they're going into their item menu oh, to buy but... items. That's what it feels that's like bots. to me. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. The bots, that's what, bots. It, that's, that's what it looks like to Point me whenever I run out there and I see a bot just standing there. Like, oh, like, why am I just like... picturing a bot who's standing still? Like, I literally just... <laughs> In my mind, Not I just body. literally bot. You've ever seen a bot bot just stand still? I feel like he's thinking about his life, and he's like, "I don't want to be an AI anymore." Like literally, he's like a ballerina. He does. He makes me think that he's thinking about some real life, like heavy shit on his mind. Like, like he on just... his toes, one arm down and one up. Like, who? Bro, I'm trying to find. <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, like I. I've... Oh, I sent you the cinematic trailer for Dredge Two, by the way. Yes, thank you. I appreciate uh, that. I remember when mm. Dredge came out. Those were happy days. Oh, show. Sure. Those were happy days. Those were happy days. Um, and then I know that we talked about, um, what was it? We talked about supports. Like, remember we were gonna start talking about like each role every week. I don't. Oh yeah, we did break down supports last time. We broke down supports. Right. That's the first. I don't think we've done another one yet. Like, that's the first one yeah, we I don't started. Think we did no one likes to play tank. Uh, yeah, tank would probably be the second most relevant, to be completely honest. 
you, you don't I would say to Flank be... has the least, you but there is still definitely a, a division in Flank. The only, the only insight I have for flanking is don't flank. Oh, wait, so let's, we did supports <laughs> last time, so let's do tanks. Let's do tanks. I need to figure out, because we, I need to cheat and look at our previous one, because we had some good insight on there. Let me see. All templates, back to home. A fucking random Mr. Clean face. Okay, so pull, support role breakdown. The way that we did it here, I kind of want to, like, copy this. So I know what I'm using. Was that on the right side? Um, here, let me put it over here on this side. And then just kind of, like, yeet it. It was over here. Main role. Because then we did subclass. That's what we did. We broke it down. Which we could still do. Yeah. Probably not the pocket versus group, but the passive versus aggressive we can include. Main role and role change. Yeah, because yeah. in tanks, there's definitely off tanks versus main tanks. For oh, sure. yeah, which would be lovely to break down for the dingleberries that think they can run anything with fucking anything. And it's like, nah, bro, you're not that guy. I see a solo and tank from I know you're That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, you throw away. What'd you say, Elk? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, some off tanks <coughs> can be main tanks if they have the right support system. True. 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 Which we can bring over here in this <laughs> subclass. So for a while, people were saying Barrack was an off tank, and that. I, I think Barrack has always been one of the better main tanks, to be completely honest, just because of his shield. And uh, whenever we get into it, I'll break down why I think there is such a divide between off tanks and main mm -hmm. tanks, like point tanks. Yeah. Okay. He's I got think... a run tinker on Barrack, and then you lay down everything. True. I love Tinker and Barrack, and I'm so happy they buffed it. Yeah, that is a, a funsies, a funsies one. Let me make this one more. Because he's so limited by his range, like yeah. on those long maps, it's so hard for him to like put any pressure, and that's oh, what tanks are supposed to do. So nice. All right, let me jump Especially down he here. Them, like behind walls. <laughs> what did I call that like, last time? Fire one right next to like a wall right on the edge. Change points of another support role breakdown. Okay, I think that's all I called it was support role. So I guess in this case it'd be tank class. Tank role breakdown. Or tank, yeah, tank role. Tank role, tank class, whatever. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> tank class. Role breakdown. That sounds very fante. Oh, oh. Fante. Tinkies out. out. Oh my god, I get paid in an hour. Let's go. I gotta crop that out of the fucking thing. <laughs> I forgot we were recording. Oops. <laughs> I mean, I can Bro, stop. Like, literally. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love you guys. I can't. Oh my gosh. Too much. Why? I don't like that this is like. All big and thick. I think that's a good question. Oh. Well, no, look at it. It's all thick, and then this one's not thick. It's bothering me. Oh, I see, I see. I have, like, a titty tech when things don't match. You know what they're saying? Oh, that's too I fun. thought you had that on purpose like that. No, uh -huh. I wanted it to match, but it wasn't matching, so now I cry. Okay, this is cute. It's all puffy and sneaky. Okay, so the tank class roll break it down. I guess I don't want to put a soldier form there. I'm going to put, like, a dash there. This is, like, a loaded one. Um, what isn't the tank supposed to do? I know. Well, I feel like Catman Dude is the perfect person to, on this right side of the screen, the passive versus aggressive, just based on playing with him after a few times. This motherfucker. The things that he does like, to honestly, DPS is so funny. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Roms that think they can take on the world and then fail doing so, and then it's just, it's, it's pain to watch them fail repeatedly, bro. <laughs> They're like, I believe. Like, no. No, Rom. You can't. Let I it go. <laughs> he swear. He swear he could. He can't fly, bro. Let it go. Like, let it go, stupid You can't fucking do that tank shit no more. <laughs> okay so let's really get into this so roll breakdown 
everyone's gonna have a different answer for this and this is a very loaded question what is the job <laughs> of a tank the tank what? is supposed to put pressure, pressure. whether that's protecting push your back line or payload. pushing forward and push the face. payload bro <laughs> That's my opinion, at least. I think so. Yeah, tanks are the ones like you're some pressure, but your main thing is to be focusing on that capture point. Yeah, you want to make sure that what you're doing is helping your team secure that point, whether that's you on the point or you're putting enough pressure that the support can heal you while they're on point, kind of thing. If you're mm -hmm. a tank and you're halfway across the map from the payload, you're in the wrong There's fucking spot. And you're by yourself, There's too, especially like, oh no. I feel, but th I also <laughs> feel like that's only for the bad ones because good tanks. As we've seen, yeah. can do that and come back. So it's it's all about compression, right? Expansion, and compression. If you have the right resources, like the cordless mark, for example, mm -hmm. like you can keep them up there forever. Mm -hmm. So that kind of like exploits that, letting them just kind of spawn camp a bit. <laughs> the main thing is that they come back. <clears throat> yeah, when it's needed. So, Catman Dude, again, on the. So, this is just the overall. We're breaking down because, again, this is geared towards the beginners and intermediate. So, this is the overall breakdown, right? On the right side is where we get into the passive versus aggressive, main or off. This is just overall. We could be talking about both, but we're just talking about the class itself, not so much the champions. That's more on the right side. But right here, we're just discussing the role in general, regardless of who you're playing. Because it could be different. Because then we have yeah. another question down here. Does the role change based on comp? Which is how we did it with our supports. And we got a lot of good feedback. Everybody had a lot of different mm -hmm. answers. So I like that. That's what I want. I want yeah. everybody to have good, you know, variety uh, of... Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and even if you're watching this on YouTube, don't feel like you're late to the party. I will be posting these. I've been behind because of a lot of different, you know, various reasons. But mainly, you know, once I do post this, feel free to comment and give me your opinion on that. Because... Everyone has a different answer for what they should or shouldn't be doing. And you see that when you get into games with people and they're raging and they're fucking titties off. And like half the time they're like, you picked the wrong talent. You're like, bruh, but it's me. <laughs> people say I pick the wrong talent all the time. It's right. Like I kick your ass. Right. Yeah. It just depends on who like you are. I low talent. True. I need to do your damage one. Fuck you. I don't need to. I'm confident in my own abilities. Confidence plays a huge part in any role you're playing. So, okay. So. I guess I'm going to kind of, because we answered that already, what is the main role? We pretty much answered that, so I'm going to replace where it says role breakdown with this question. Because I feel like that's just repetitive to write that twice. Eat. Fair. So, I'm going to steal this font because it's cute. Does the role change I based can't say on... that if you have a good team comp that's communicating and your tank seems to do well running with your flank, in one of your damages stay back. That is an okay thing, because I will stay back yeah. and mm -hmm. push the payload if my tank is doing better on the front line. That's segueing exactly. into to what we're right. about to get into. So <laughs> so the question stands, does the role change based on comp? Elk is saying, you know, yes, due to... Mm -hmm. Depends on the comp. Yeah. I think it definitely does, too. Due to individual... It depends on if you're in a full stack or not. Individual players... Abilities. Ability to execute. Typically, if I play with randoms, I want my tank on the payload. True. True. <laughs> but well, who's to say we don't know them? So who's to say they're cracked at what they're doing? So that's yeah, the other. Yeah, it's a double-edged sword. To, if I see a tank that's popping off, I will be the healer that caps point. I have pocketed a fucking aggressive ass random. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I start back as Getty as tank, as basically being a tank. <laughs> Whoever was on Fernando or that was. Or whoever. Are you talking about? Yes. Was when was that? It's happened so many times. No, no. If, have for, you like, played with Catman? Because I'm, Catman is an aggressive. I don't think I played with Catman. I'm probably thinking of like a drifty gamer. I'm about to say drifty is the only other person that you've played with because he's an aggressive nano, but he'll he'll make it happen. I plus one to what Catman's. <clears throat> That's kind of what I was gonna say. If certain roles are being fulfilled by your team, like, do you have a second tank? Yeah. Yes? Okay, bet. You have more freedom to actually go be, you know, a menace. <laughs> Otherwise, you're the only, if you're the only tank, it puts a lot of pressure on you to try and make that space with two tanks. Yeah. It makes it easier for, you know, the tanks to actually put pressure up there That's and have like someone Eric, else touch the point. So. Mm -hmm. so I think it definitely 100%. 
depends on your comp. If you got multiple healers, bet, okay. Go push the point. You have a healer who can help you be a menace, and you have someone else who could stand back, probably if they have more ranged heals, like Furia, Corvus, for example. They could be the ones that are, like, you know, actually point tanking, mm. quote unquote. <clears throat> you yeah, can have like an Anara just putting so much pressure up there that she's pretty much an octane. <laughs> compare it like Ash to Khan. Like, mm -hmm. Ash is going to be able to have more presence and a bigger range versus Khan because their shield is so little. It depends, right. though, well, as well. Like how they can help yeah, save their team. Looked at more but... as an off tank than mm. a main tank. Mm -hmm. That also depends on I, who you're talking to, too. His doesn't really protect anyone else. It's just him. Yeah. I think that's a big like part that plays into the, the off tank, main tank. Is I know. I'm trying so hard not to you. skip over shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so hard because we're having such Hold good up. conversations. I'm pausing. <laughs> I'm pausing. All right, hold on. i got to get adjusted because y'all so fast. Okay, hold on. Listen to the situations that <laughs> may present itself. Talk about love. Uh, I haven't been able to talk during, all day, okay? Dear games. The tank should also never be the one capturing point. After the fight is over, the tank should be zoning while to support caps to get their credits. True. <coughs> yeah, after the fight, for sure. After support the fight. Should be the one that's in it for the credits. That, that kind of like what I was saying earlier. That's kind of what I was right. referencing earlier. Just getting all those extra credits, but <clears throat> like during the fight, of course, yeah, for sure. Like to actually, you know, win the fight over the point, <laughs> tank is usually the one that's going to be making that happen. <clears throat> got a good question. I didn't even think about that. That's a really good point to make. Thank you, Catman. And yes, I'll. Mm -hmm. Uh, what lane should tanks start down? Left, middle, right? Ooh, it depends on the map, but yeah. you should usually start on one of the side. If there's so high ground, go for that. For the, <laughs> for the point, or try to swing around the back? I guess that's going to also kind of play into this, but that is a good question. I don't like even... When I play tank, I prefer to get to that point as quick as possible. Mm, but sometimes that can yeah. fuck you though. Yeah, right, because if the whole enemy team gets behind you and they kill off your back line, then you're just sitting up there. Bruh, the other day when I was playing fucking with Zoe, bro, there was this Nando that just fucking kept flanking, dude, on Frog Isle. Just hard flanking with the whole entire team. I always tell people have to be aggressive with Nando if you want to be mm -hmm. this, like he doesn't have the range you have to be able to face them I guess let's go ahead we're really just <laughs> getting Nando into this is be one that you're like get this you motherfucker off of term yeah <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah. And I'm term, gonna yeah. move us move this down and move us on over to well, this I don't like terms we, I don't are, like terms. we are getting into this and there is no avoiding it we just <laughs> Hold on. it's happening it's happening <laughs> let me flip this vertically and put this like this and then send to back and I want to cover that up so don't mind me I'm like doing some shit <laughs> I'm doing some surgery shit to this graphic design fucking bullshit why is it not letting me zoom in um Edit image. Now, whatever lane tanks does take, though, they should always be in the front. With, if possible, with their shit up. Why is this not letting me Fine. crop it? Smart crop. And adjust. Oh my god, you son of a biscuit eater. I want to crop this so it looks like a rectangle and it's not letting me do it. You know what I can do though? I can delete that completely and just get a rectangle instead of being complicated. For as, what in the actual factual fuckity? That's redonkulous, bro. No doom, sorry, stinky. There we go. Problem solved. weird little thing I just had to do just to make that like make sense <laughs> all 
Alrighty, so now we're going to get into... Welcome back, Evil Blade. Welcome back. Hey, man, I got to pay my bills, you know. It's either sponsorships or ads or both, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, so like it is, bruh. No, I appreciate you for sitting through the ads. Thank you. It helps me a lot. Keeps the channel going. When my brain cells aren't enough. Um, oh, yes, I need to see what he said so I can add that. Oh, bro, can you? Oh, my God, dude, I'm having a stroke trying to make this work. Can you not? It, like, assumes what I'm trying to do, and I'm just like, no, dude, that is not the do. That's not the do. <laughs> All right. Not, not it assuming. Assuming? <laughs> Assume we make an ass out of you and me. Um, this is very off topic, but oh, what do you what do you crochet? Um, they call gauntlet, spiral, fingerless gloves. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, let me see. Oh my god, I like your tattoo. I just realized you got tattoo in your hand. Tattooing yeah. should be also never I think it's fair, but the this one okay, I saw that one when you're supposed to start. Better. My barbering as stuff. Tang can be weird as hell. Sometimes it's best to stick on the pretty. offline ones with your team. Or sometimes it's best to just bot to point to person. Yeah, and you see, and I like I like that because that's he's playing off what Elk said, but also addressing the fact that, you know, it is weird. And you don't always know which way to Oh my god. Which way to go with it. Let me see. You know, your your team's usually gonna follow at least one of the tanks. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Yeah, if you play, like, I like my comps to be two damage with the tank, a healer, and a So, one damage with the flank, one damage with the tank. Right, right. At least that's how I, like, I prefer my comps to look. Sometimes you can pull off the double flank, but it's a little bit harder. In my opinion. Yeah, I think you need some, like, some stuff to make damage. the double flank work, like the, yeah, that or the extra pocket from, like, Torval or Corvus mm -hmm, or something like yeah. that. Yeah. No, yeah even Genos with pocket. his movement speed buff now, flanks love movement speed, so. Oh my god, yeah, they're all about that shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Genos can really keep up with them now. He, he could really keep up with them before, too. Like, mm -hmm. Unless they were, like, bought to you fucking... Jeez. Hey. I but what like what and what you guys said is like not fitting with this. I guess it, I just like I I love that point and I want to include everything. Well, you can see like um uh, for passive, the passive tank role typically goes more to like the bot and or to the bot to the point and tries to like. You know, sit there. The aggressive tanks are usually the ones that are more like going to right. The I guess okay. Like at least more more consistent. You know, because how uh, Catman broke it down. Yeah, I wasn't like plagiarism. Not trying to copy. <laughs> Straight mm -hmm. to. So I think you can put it like okay, the passive aggressive that way. Right. Um. Maybe use the same font. Also, these only take longer because yeah, I'm such a stripper. That out. Let me put this one. So, uh, playing more around the damage. Pushing, pushing on either sides for a more aggressive approach. Why the fuck is it like this? Do you see what I mean? Like, why did all of a sudden decide to to get like? Mm. I hate when it does. Catman that. put another good point. Oh. For passives. I know you're catching up, so. <laughs> I know. I'm it? sorry, you guys. I'm slow. No, I don't know <laughs> why it did that. We're also blasting it out like it's we're mm -hmm. shooting out stuff like it's out of an AR. Just bop, 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 bop. for real. <laughs> <laughs> I had a monster a few hours ago. I'm still wired. <laughs> okay. Um, that pack I was delivering. I was like, I. For passive, more point or anything is best for you not to glue yourself to point. Oh, I like that. Okay. Why the fuck? I meant to put a period here and I put a slash. <laughs> also, let me zoom in so in case you guys are struggling to see. 
like for passive it's not necessarily to like play the point but to as he's saying like right. play around the point and peel for your team like someone sneaking past you mm. your con can like pull them off the back line or something <clears throat> anara sees them going off to the side she can run over and put a cripple out real quick <laughs> so. why do i fold it in half oh my fucking god Right, yeah, I agree with that. Oh yeah, oh, that's a good point too, the team, the... Gosh, this helps when the team... He's a really good tank, like, I played with him, he, he gets it done. <laughs> um, aggressive would be... Be more of uh, creating, I guess, let me add that as a th uh, another one creating opportunity for plays to happen. Mm -hmm. Um, i.e. causing enemy team to follow you away from a player in trouble or the point. It's another good point. Mm. You can also mention heading off the point to secure a kill for the passive tanks to True. And I put that in there only because I know some people like get mad. Like when I go tank, I will go out of my way to, if I see anyone. Doesn't matter if they're support damage. <laughs> like I'm gonna finish that. People who are like negative you health. That, yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. BRB guys, hold it down for me real quick. I got some unfinished business. Like literally. Fucking Catman dude. The other day we were playing, he literally real chased real quick, like, someone on it. Yeah, I'm stepping. <laughs> what game was that, Cat Man? You remember we put, it, was, it was uh payload, and it looked like Timberville. Um, I forget what map that's called, but like, <laughs> put me the payload, um. and <laughs> he <see, laughs> he remembers. He said I kept chasing a Drogos. I was running by his side. I fucking supported his ass through that bullshit. I don't give a fuck. It was so funny. And we followed him until he... Yeah. <laughs> that Zen! I was like, it was Drogos, but it was someone else too. And then I remember because there was they had a Genos. And the Genos literally was hard pocketing that he got himself killed by Catman. <laughs> it was oh, no. so funny. <laughs> the Ascension Peak game after that, I was chasing the Drogos the entire time. Bro, that's what I'm saying. Catman... Not Chasing Bro, a too this big, is bro. what I'm saying. He he picked the perfect <laughs> podcast meeting to be here. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Cause like people don't think it's possible, but dude, it is. Like if you know what you're doing, it is totally possible. Mm. I honestly think the tank role is probably the strongest role right now. Yeah. That's why the two tanks are better. I still remember the Zen emoting in spring after killing me in that pillow match. Yeah, he was pissed. He was tight. He said, I got you one time, I gotta make it count. <laughs> time for the one time. <laughs> one time for the one time. 
I'm going to put sometimes as a necessary sacrifice. And then we can get into yeah, champs. sometimes a necessary sacrifice, right? To secure a kill or put enough pressure mm -hmm. to, like, dismount them to where they can't touch point at all kind of thing. Yeah. My favorite sacrifice is when Khan grabs someone and jumps off the edges. Not the... That's my favorite. Me? That's, my favorite. That's how me and Catman met. <laughs> <laughs> wow, just call me out, <laughs> Elk. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Every time it happens, it's so funny when it happens to me. You cannot help but not laugh because it's like they had no other choice. You were being that much of a dick. <laughs> that was literally how we met. I was like, bro. That's so funny. <laughs> he fucking he, he, he fucking altered me right after that too, and I just could not stop laughing. I was like, we have to become friends after that. <laughs> Sacrifice, uh, dismount, getting kills. Um, <laughs> getting kills, getting killed. <laughs> body block. I body blocked an alt for someone. Like a Zenalt or some shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. is about to go crazy. Oh no. I do that too. If I see a Zen charging up and I'm calm, I'm like, I'm like nope. I'm trying to leap into <laughs> <him>. <laughs> Or like a Nando, I'm dashing. Yeah, I'm taking this. <laughs> you know, as a Zen player, I miss most of my ults. I was trying to message you after you walked up the map with me, but do you... <laughs> Yeah, my shit was fucked. <laughs> oh my god, that game, I still remember it like it was yesterday, and it was the funny shit, because that, that week, I was on a con shit. Like, I was doing that to everybody in the realm that week. Like, everybody got my smoke. Like, and recently, I ran into someone I did that to, and they remembered, because they fucking wrecked me that game is Vora. They, I was like, they don't remember me. Bro, I played Con. They remembered, bruh. They did not let me fucking do that you shit. not doing this shit again. Hell no. They were like, <laughs> nope, bitch. It's traumatized. Oh my god, traumatized. No. Traumatized. They, yeah, they didn't like me very much. I felt sad. Um, Is there anything we want to add? I think we did really good this time for like a makeshift because I didn't write anything down to plan for this. We just kind of like pulled this out of our ass. You guys should be proud. Yeah, I think this was good. And only at 47 minutes, too. Not bad at all. Yes! We call that winning. We are winning here. Keeping it under an hour. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Catman, was there anything you wanted to add to oh, this? Yeah. Oh, my God. That was so loud. I wasn't expecting it, Brett. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. We have, like, really good content to upload. Plus, like, if y'all have any gameplay, I think this should be a cool thing, too, by the way. I, w I didn't mention it before, but if you guys, when we're doing Champion uh, Hot Seat, or just in general when I'm doing the podcast, if y'all want to send me your clips of playing either the Champion that we're talking about in the Hot Seat, or let's say in this case we're talking about Tank Class Role Breakdown, um, you can send me clips because we didn't really get into the champions, but I kind of was doing that on purpose because we need something to talk about on Saturday. So on Saturday, we can get right. into the actual <laughs> champions and get deeper into the <laughs> subclass. So, yeah, same Catman, so it's hard for me as well. But yeah, so I think this is great. I think uh, I'll go ahead and save this and then tune in on Saturday, you guys, for us to get into what champions we believe belong in the more passive versus aggressive. Who is the main tank? Who is the off tank? Because that is a debate for the centuries in this game. Um, and if you're a good player, you can play both no matter what. But yes, guys, make sure you tune in for that. Now, we are going to play some games.